Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from Pakistan. Breaking news, views and headlines from Pakistan. Tag TV के पाकिस्तान स्टूडियो में आपको कहेंगे खुशामदीद भाई उम्मा के मुहाफ़ज़ों ने बहुत सी इन्वेस्टमेंट्स कर रखी है वहां आगे वो लोग आपके लिए हार लेके नहीं खड़े जब तक इंशाल्लाह उनको आजादी नहीं मिलेगी हम उनके साथ खड़े रहेंगे डू नॉट लिव इन अ फूल्स पैराडाइज बुशरा खान सारा तनाकादी कॉक फारूकी एंड जुल्फिकार तूवा शकील टैक्टिक respected balala yusuf zai in your last tweet you have mentioned that you have spent time speaking with people living and working in kashmir German, journalists humorite lawyers and students miss malala let me remind you in your own country in pakistan pakistan government has made baluchistan a no go zone for journalists and media people more than 20000 baluch civilians are in the custody of pakistani army and isi most of them are baluch leaders activities students doctors lawyers even innocent women and children since many years the family members of the missing ones are protesting in quetta or karachi for the safe release of their loved ones in your own country pakistan in pakistan pakistan is carrying out illegal military operations in baluchistan since you are advocate for girls education a uh, women's equality and un messenger of peace i request you to please urge un to send a mission in baluchistan to find out what's going on in baluchistan i request you to please urge pakistan to stop military operations in baluchistan and release all baluch missing persons i hope you malala as un messenger of peace will fulfill your duty to bring peace in baluchistan Pakistani agencies continue to use enforced disappearances of Sindhi political human rights activists to silence the voice of Sindhi people for their political, economic and human rights. Since February 2017, more than 300 disappearances have occurred, including young activists such as Akib Chandio, Shabir Kaloro, Basit Kaloro, Ayub Kandro, Kashif Tagar, Shahid Jonejo, Insaf Dayo and others. The in the extrajudicial killings are another key human rights violation. that the government refuses to address often activists are forcibly taken held for extended periods and subsequently killed failure to discipline and prosecute the perpetrators has led to a culture whereby agencies can act within the impunity we sindhis have been raising this issue with the council since the start of these atrocities but no action has been taken to date on behalf of all those families of the disappeared i urge the council to take action to protect the rights of sindhi people the use of enforced disappearance must end and the perpetrators must be brought to justice holding the pakistani government accountable इमरान खान और पाकिस्तान उनका अलमिया यह है कि वो जो ग्राउंड रियलिटीज़ हैं तो उनको अंडरस्टैंड नहीं करते पाकिस्तान ने 70 ईयर्स तक कश्मीरियों को के साथ ये प्रॉमिस कर रखा था कि जब भी आपको ज़रूरत पड़ेगी हम आपको लिब्रेट कराएंगे हम आपको आज़ादी दिलवाएंगे लेकिन जब उन पर कश्मीरीों पर एक हार्ड टाइम आया तो उस वक्त पाकिस्तान का प्राइम मिनिस्टर कहता है असम्बली में खड़े होके कि हम आपके लिए क्या लड़ें क्या हम जंग करें अगर हम जंग का रिजल्ट हमारे खिलाफ आ गया तो क्या होगा तो कश्मीरियों में बड़ी रिजाइनमेंट है पाकिस्तान के खिलाफ और उनको ये डाउट था कि इमरान खान को वेलकम करने कोई नहीं आएगा वो अबाद से लोगों को लेके आए किराए पे लेके आए पश्तून बल से पे लोगों को लेके आए ताकि ये लगे कि इमरान खान का बड़ा वेलकम हो रहा है लेकिन ग्राउंड में ये हुआ कि उसके खिलाफ लोगों ने प्रोटेस्ट किए पूरे पी में 
और उसके खिलाफ नारे लाए लगाए आज़ादी के हक में उन्होंने कहा कि पाकिस्तान को जो है ना इस एरिए से निकलना चाहिए और वो जो हमारे नेशनलिस्ट थे जिन्होंने प्रोटेस्ट किए इमरान खान के खिलाफ तो उनको वहाँ पे उन्होंने अरेस्ट किया है टॉर्चर किया है और बैडली वहाँ पे आर्मी का एक सीनियर ऑफिसर बैठा उसने कहा कि भाई आप लोगों ने इनको कैसे फ्री एंड दे रखा है तो इनको अरेस्ट करो इनको जितनी आप इनको टॉर्चर कर सकते हो उनको सबक सिखाओ तो हम इसको स्ट्रॉगली कंडेम करते हैं कश्मीरियों के पे जो जुल्म तशद हो रहा है वो ख़त्म होना चाहिए और पाकिस्तान से हम ये कहते हैं कि जितने भी लोगों को अरेस्ट किया है उनको फौरी रिहा करें वरना यूनाइटेड नेशंस के अंदर और जगह जगह पे इंटरनेशनल फोरम्स पे हम इस इशू को उठाएंगे And it's really, honestly, is very, very, very sad. They want to make this is a systematic design. Number one, they have spread and spent so much on religious radicalization. And secondly, I tell you a couple of more things. That Sindh produces seventy-three, seventy-four percent of gas in Pakistan. and the largest gas depo- uh, fields are in that gotki so gotki in fact produces roughly uh, 27 28% of the whole of the gas so it's very very important secondly there is a very large uh, sindhi hindu community in that area in gotki in meerpur mathelo in obavado in this area and as it has been happening for last many years they want to create a situation of fear and reprisal and so coerce them to leave and this is part of that and they 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 just basically make anything and because they have created so much radicalization that people and they have got their own proxies that they can mobilize and so it's really very sad situation as a result a lot of damage happened the uh, places of worship were attacked their properties were attacked their uh, businesses were attacked but again there is one positive thing that the sindhi society sindhi people they have reacted that this is this is this is nasty this shouldn't happen they are our brothers we are to one Mr. Vice President, we want to draw your attention to social, cultural, and economic aspects of human rights violations, which is seriously endangering not only the Baloch socio-political way of life, but causing tremendous economic devastation to the people. The Islamic radicalization in Balochistan is being used by the Pakistani authorities as a tool to counter the Baloch national struggle for the right to self-determination. These go together with the enforced disappearances and extrajudicial killing of Baloch nationalists by the security forces. in the process of implementing these policies uh, lives and human rights of millions of people are being compromised it is as a result of these policies that the number of madrasas that are the main source of recruits for taliban and isis has outstripped the number of schools in balochistan the schools and universities on the other hand remain under constant attack from islamist militants although balochistan strategy cannot be te- told in one and a half minutes let me tell you my own story i'm karima baloch i was born in a scrappy village on pakistan iran border we are as kids we had to invent our own toys to play i eventually became the first woman to lead the largest student camp political group in balochistan the bso i also appeared on bbc's 2016 list of top 100 women I owe it partly to my uncle Nur Ahmad the teacher as he is affectionately known in our village for this crime he paid with his life on July 28 2016 soon after a head fled to Canada Pakistan's paramilitary whisked him away in front of dozens of witnesses to coerce me into surrendering my politics but I didn't and they killed him
this is the yeah, yesterday is uh, Imran Khan and they repeated uh, same answer for the uh, question. Actually, a couple of months ago, uh, and the international correspondent uh, asked him the same question regarding the uh, Uyghur uh, issue in this Turkestan, but he said, I don't know, I will not aware of this. Then a couple of months later, he answered the same uh, answers to the question. This time, actually, Pakistan government, the Prime Minister knows very well what is going on in Turkestan, what is the uh, problem, and what is the Chinese government pressure to the Uyghur Muslim uh, in the Turkestan, but uh, he doesn't want to talk on this because he couldn't talk this because Pakistan is one of the biggest partner violation on the human right and uh, uh, China today is hiding the, the, uh, the uh, reality internationally and trying to uh, cheat this internationally and seeking continual partner to violence uh, against the Uyghurs. So Pakistan is since the beginning support is the Chinese government unfortunately. Uh, Pakistan is one of the biggest uh, uh, Muslim nation around the world, they should aware of this issue, should be following this issue, should be speak out and ask the Chinese government and stop the persecution towards the Uyghur. But unfortunately, Pakistan all the time supports the Chinese policy towards the Uyghur. It is really shame to Shen. Respected Mr. President, on 1st August 1947, Lee's Gilgit Agency was turned back by Britishers to Maharaja Kashmir, and it was merged with Ladakh Vazarat. Uh, Baltistan was already part of it, and a new province, Northern Area Territory Province, uh, having 65,000 square miles of 75% of total area of Jammu and Kashmir. On 22nd October 1947, after tribal invasion from tribal agency of Pakistan via Muzaffarabad in Kashmir Valley, Maharaja Kashmir did provisional accession of his state with India to get help to repulse tribal Lashkars and case went to UN. Pakistani rulers already bifurcated Gilgit Baltistan and POK in 1949. What India has done now by declaring Ladakh as its union territory. Likewise, state subject rule, which is in fact 35A of Article 370, was abrogated in 1974 by Pakistani rulers in Gilgit Baltistan, whereas as India has done now by considering JNK as its uh, 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 constitutional part. We demand that if government of Pakistan considers Jammu and Kashmir as the disputed territory, then it first it must restore straight subject rule in Gilgit Pakistan.